So what I got here is an Asus K55A laptop. And as you can see, I'm just moving around and the mouse jumps around. Now I guess this is an issue for, uh, as I see online, other people have the same issue. So I'm over here using a wireless mouse. See, when I use the mouse, it doesn't jump around. And uh, to be honest, I've already changed the touchpad because I thought it was that. I bought a new one and it didn't fix the issue. But um, here's what I will show you. I'm on the support page on Asus's website. And as you can see here, they only up they only support up to Windows 8.1. And I'm running Windows 10, so it has me to believe that Windows 10 is incompatible with that. So my best bet is to downgrade it to Windows 764. So I'm going to go ahead and download Windows 764 and we'll see if uh, the touchpad issue uh, persists. So as the computer is rebooting you're going to press escape really fast on this k55a model you'll get to this boot menu you're going to enter the setup um, first things first before installing the windows 7 with the bootable flash drive you're going to go down to advanced go under usb configuration you're going to make sure that second option is disabled legacy usb support i would enable it or put it on auto press escape to go back you're going to scroll over to boot Launch CSM will be enabled. The second option will be disabled. And then this is what I was talking about, the prioritizing the boot so that uh, you don't have to constantly press escape and try to boot from your uh, hard drive again. If you set this to the hard drive, it will boot from the hard drive and it will continue installation. Otherwise, you're going to have to press escape and keep booting from the hard drive. Otherwise, it will keep booting from the flash drive and you're going to be at an endless loop. So you do that. And then down here under uh, enabled for the secure boot, secure boot mode, just keep it standard. Scroll over, save changes and exit. Yes. So for the options for Rufus, you're just going to keep it on UEFI target system and the partition scheme will be GBT. And then I think everything else sets by default. I'm using the Windows 7 Ultimate uh, .iso file. And now it's finished and we're going to go ahead and see how it goes. So one thing I've noticed is once it does, it goes to like the third step and it reboots. It's going to go back and try to boot from your flash drive again. So it's going to keep looping. So when it reboots, you're going to press escape really fast to go to the boot menu. And you're going to choose your hard drive. And then it will continue to finish installing uh, Windows 7. You don't do that you're just going to get a boot loop unless you prioritize your hard drive as the first boot device so now it will reboot so once you download the windows 764 bit service package one the first thing i would do is go on their support page and download the lan driver once you download the LAN driver, it gives you access to use the Ethernet port, which you need to get an Ethernet port and directly hook it up from your modem so you can use the internet. And the first thing you'll do is download Driver Booster 6 free. It's a great freeware. It scans all your drivers that are outdated and you can update and then search update under here. Go to Windows Update and unfortunately you're going to have to change the settings and you're going to click never check for updates because as soon as it updates your touchpad, um, the downside with this is you can no longer use the gestures, but it still works without it jumping around. Or if you want to just disable this, which it makes no sense. You disable this, you, you can only use a mouse or you can enable this and not use the gestures. I use Driver Booster. You can update all the drivers except the one for the touchpad and the PCIe controller. So right here, computer, local disk, right click, computer manage. Under disk management manager, you'll see that the PCI device and the communication controller, I did not update those drivers because it will mess with it. You can try yours, but for me, I messed up my touchpad and I had to reinstall Windows 7 again. 
but that's pretty much the issue it's just a bad update the the code's not written well on there and it will keep giving you i get a lot of people that said that there's some kind of grounding issues but i've been using this for weeks now and it does no, it, it no longer jumps around so just use this free program the free one just lets you individually update and the full version lets you do them all simultaneously so you can still use this great little program and as you can see everything's back to normal i can right click i can do everything i just can't do the two finger three finger four finger gestures but i i that jumping around just wouldn't work for me so hope this helps you guys resolve your issues